addressing people by their, what you could call a spiritual age. He's using these terms, little children, young men, and fathers. Now, we understand it physiologically. Physiologically, people go through these stages from being children to young men to becoming adults, fathers and mothers. So he's using that same terminology, but in a spiritual context. A, a proper definition of a spiritual father or mother would go like this. One who nurtures another from infancy to adulthood. It's a process of nurturing that the emphasis is on. And it's taking somebody from a place of immaturity to maturity. How do you nurture people spiritually? By word, spirit, and life. Three things that go into nurturing people. The word of God. The work of the Holy Spirit. And your own life. Paul is writing to his spiritual son Timothy. And he says this. He says, Timothy, you have carefully followed that means you observe very carefully you have watched this he said timothy you have carefully followed you have seen my life you have carefully followed first my doctrine that is my teaching you've you've heard me teach the word the truth concerning the kingdom you've carefully followed my doctrine number two my manner of life secondly a true spiritual father would a mother would nurture with love and discipline. That brings us to number three, where as a spiritual father, mother, you deal with difficult issues. You talk about uh, uh, real life issues. You develop them into uh, their calling. Yes, of course, you want them to be all that God wants them to be. You encourage them to, uh, to grow, to exercise their gifts, find their place, become what God wants them to become. Number five, you release them at the right time. Just because God put them in your life doesn't mean you own their life. God put them in your life or God put you in their life for a season. Uh, as a true spiritual father, mother, you will celebrate their success and rejoice when they outdo you. Every true father or mother wants their children to be better than them. Now here are some things they will not do. Well, they will not violate divine order. The second thing a true spiritual father and mother will not do is they will not violate, they will not control or manipulate. Number four, they will not attack, attack or pull you down if you go beyond them. That's a true spiritual father mother. In fact, they'll be happy. Five, they will not prevent you from receiving from other true ministers of God. It is a valid thing to be a spiritual father or mother, but if you push it and apply it wrong, you'll hurt people. Now, here are some errors that you will hear. If you don't have a spiritual father or mother, you have an orphan spirit. You have to be connected to a spiritual father or mother to receive from God. Your spiritual lineage is important just like your biological lineage. You cannot go beyond the level of your spiritual father or mother. You operate under the anointing of your spiritual father or mother. If you don't have a spiritual covering or spiritual authority figure over you, you're vulnerable to the devil. Two things I want to mention before we close. One is to break free from abusive spiritual fathers and mothers. Don't misapply the truth because it can hurt people. So keep it in the right place. It has its place. Ultimately, you and I must walk with God. All of us can do it. You, don't, you know, whatever your physical age is, don't let it hold you back. Maybe a young person, you can start. You can help somebody else. You can give what you don't, they don't have. Just give it to them. You're nurturing them. Just a little bit. Do. But I want to encourage all of us to grow to become. Fathers and mothers. Our response to this whole truth on spiritual fathers and mothers, firstly, is I want to encourage all of us to rise up to become fathers and mothers. It simply means you nurture other people in the faith. Number two is honor true spiritual fathers and mothers. If people are blessed your life, honor them. But don't worship them. They're just human. Number three is maintain this truth. Of spiritual fathers and mothers in its right place. That means this is true. It is the Bible talks about it. I'm not saying it doesn't. The Bible talks about it. Being a spiritual father and mother. Blessing people. Building people up. It does talk about it. But it's got to be maintained in its right place. 